Hello everyone and welcome to my Unreal Engine animation tutorial. Today we're gonna look at how to change the idle animations. So for example now you see my only animation and I want to change the animation if I'm not moving any input or any movement like this for X amount of seconds I want to change the idle animation. So how to do that, you first have to go in your animation blueprint. Uh, when you start a third person project, then you will have the mannequin's original animation blueprint. And it will look exactly like this. But this will probably be named something else. And in here you have a blend space where you have idle, walk, and then run. Uh, so what you want to do is to add a new state called idle probably then you add it here then to walk oops and then you want from walk to walk run to idle so the first thing that will happen when you start you will go to idle position and then walk run so forth and you add another state called random idle and from this one you want to go to walk run and then idle and then you want the idle to go to random idle so that's all here so we can start with the easy one to go from idle to walk run it's obvious you have to have the speed and get the speed it has to be greater than and I usually do 0 0.1 Perfect. And then from walk run to idle, I go less than 0 0.1. Perfect. And I just compile what I should have. <laughs> and then here in idle, you want to just put your idle animation. Perfect. And as you can see now, it doesn't really work because I haven't put anything here, but now you will see it's the same thing as before. Just an idle and run. Nothing else, it works back and forth here. So now we want to implement this one. You go in and you put uh, random sequence player. And on here you want to add as many animation as you want to. I have two. Idle impatient, idle looking. I add one, two, open one up, and then I basically I can drag and drop. And I'll do on the same on the other one, drag and drop. Good. And then one important part here, depending on how long your animation is, you can do a minimum loop count and max loop count. I usually doesn't really matter, I will put five I guess and then five same here five five and then you just plug it in and then uh, what you want to do from random to walk you want to add this thing here with get speed if it's greater than 0 0.1 then you go from idle, random idle to walking or running. And then here you want to put a different one. So from random idle to idle, you want to put current curry. Current time state time. Current state time. If it's greater than so here is where you put how many seconds you want. So I'll put five seconds. If it's more than five seconds in this state, it will go to idle. And then you want to do the same here, depending on how many seconds you want, not get speed. Current time state greater than five seconds. I usually put 10 on both of them, uh, but you can put whatever you want, and that should be it. Let's see, 
Yep. Perfect. The only thing left is you want to have a smooth transition between the animations. You want to put blend setting duration one on these. And that should be it. So if I press play now, wait five seconds, then it starts this. And then it does it for five seconds, then it goes back. Then you wait five seconds, and it goes to the same one. But it it uh, iterates 50-50 between those two because I have only two. Otherwise, you can change uh, which one you want more. So if you go to random a little random sequence play, you can have chance to play. So you just change those to whatever you want. So if you have have uh, ten. For example, you want one that shows more than the others, then you change this. But I don't want that. Uh, and then if you look here, if I play and run around, then I go to a normal idle. And if I interrupt an idle that's in play, and I run, it was normal. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, whatever you want. And I will see you. Bye.